<laughs> and she sat really still in the hall, which I love, because it's one of my pet peeves when you all come in the hall and then you like wiggle your underwear and check your lipstick and do all those things. It makes me crazy. So just sit still. So medium trot could have a little bit more power, but there was a bit. So not quite enough for a seven, six, five, but her transitions were better some. Slight tilt, get some less range, six point five. Now here we want to make sure that if you straighten and go back to shoulder four. Don't ride through the corner and shoulder it. Now this hike doesn't invoke the three second roll. That's only on center line. But this one has to be set. One, two, three, four. And again, we count the steps back with the front legs. And if we were doing a shock roll, which is the back forward, back forward, back with the front legs, forward with the hind legs. That actually was an excellent bring back for second level. It was very willing and straight, and the steps back were diagonal. So I kind of give it a 10 because it could have lifted its legs a little more, but I think I would have gone a 9. The free walk, again, is good, it's relaxed, just the right amount of stretch, shoulder freedom, over track, all good things for an eight. Now there I can see that, so I would have done a little more right bend so we don't have that fussiness, that's a modifier. That could have been a little bit rounder in the neck. Me. Look at I am the flying change queen. <laughs> I just blink and they change. I have it. I've got the knack. Not too much bending in the canter on these 10 meter circles or it's going to put the horses down on the shoulders. I think that was just about right. I'll sit really still. Now, in your cattle canter, you want to have a little bit of bending in the direction of the lead. You want to feel like the haunches are established on the line of travel. So a little bit of a haunches out feeling. Nicely done. Yeah, so for me, the, the mediums are a little bit boring, and their transitions are a little bit vague. Pretty much I like everything else. She does a good job with the 10 meter circles, not too much bending. So think a little bit about pushing the honcho sally toward the rail here. So you have the front legs a little bit on the second track, honcho's on the rail, there we go. Mm -hmm. Remember, I think a little bit of conscious out for the counter counter. Now, try not to be boring this time. <laughs> That's okay. Turn, turn right. Turn right. Now, because it's off of the right and they like to drift left, do a little counter flexing in your corner. Don't bend too much to the right. And maybe a little quick leg to the right leg first to straighten. You're gonna just stand up a little more. And now go. 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 Uh, yep, 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 good. That's okay. There we go. <laughs> Good. So 
really the two things would be the candor to parts, to be a little longer. And your mediums need a little bit more power. Okay, your balance is good. I understand if at the horse show you want to be safe and you don't want to push your luck. You know, you want to say, okay, this is just going to be not to be safe, they think they're running with no problems. So um, that's to me where you need to work a little bit, thinking about just creating a little bit, go, come back, go, come back, go, come back. Um, when you push him forward, make sure he's really not being left. Yeah. Even here, yeah, it's just on the right lead, then if he's leaning left, he's going to change to the right. You know, there's, there's all sorts of little changes, balance things that he can get you. So just, to me, that would be the, the most, the best advice to make sure that box is more open. But he doesn't kind of sneak a little bit over here through that left side. Okay, so will you do the shoulder ends one this one? Because what I want everybody to see, the first shoulder end turns to the right. Mm -hmm. So that shoulder end does not strain. There should stay in shoulder end for the turn. And if she's smart, when she gets to X, she's almost going to be in shoulder and left before the turn. So that as soon as she turns, she has already the shoulder in. Now she needs to think left shoulder in. Really push him over to the right wing. And now boom. Yeah, but see, you don't get your shoulder in until that second box. And here she needs to straighten and go back to shoulder four. So do you understand, Sally, what I'm saying about the second shoulder in? You, you have to feel that you have the rib cage over to the right rein before you turn left. Okay, now turn. This will be easier. Now push the rib cage to the left. Push him over, push him over. Don't turn. Yeah, you're turning a little too soon. So you're losing about two meters of shoulder in. Okay? Outside flexion, outside flexion. Mm -hmm. And now shoulder in to the right. Good. Mm -hmm. So you have to get so strong in that left brain. And now turn. Now almost like this. Get that straight off your left leg. Like, don't turn yet, don't turn yet, don't turn yet. Now turn it. Bring your shoulders. Quick. Quick. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, and shoulder four. Mm -hmm. Good. And then it's going left to right. So again, you guys, this is the place where I talked about doing the corners. It's the same aid here that he has to wait for the turning aid, but the bend has nothing to do with it, and the rail has nothing to do with it. So think shoulder and right, but don't turn. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. I said don't turn, you're turning. <laughs> Sally, when he tries to turn and you don't want him to turn, stop. Mm -hmm. And make him stand there with his head looking at you. He's not allowed to do that. Because then you're going to have a hard time letting him do Now, the shoulder and left. Don't turn. You're going to halt. You're going to halt. Left leg, right leg. Turn his head. Turn his head and his shoulders. He's got to be facing B. Turn him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you can tap him. Mm -hmm. And now you can turn left and start your shoulder. So these little details, it's not going to kill her in this test, but later on it's going to hurt because he's turning. Because he's like, look, there's a rail and I'm half left end, I better turn. He has to wait for you, Sally, do you understand? If he doesn't wait, stop and teach him something. Teach him who's the boss. Just wait. 
He has to wait, he has to wait. Yeah, that's a good boy. There you go. Mm -hmm. And now back to shoulder four. Good. Let's try once more right to left. Good job. again with your rein back. Now she's going to be in shoulder forward to the left. If you don't do that, you have a chance of the rear end coming in. Now what I loved about her technique was that she put the aid on to, to rein back and then she gave with the reins and then she put the aid on and she gave again with the reins. So she didn't just hold, hold, hold the whole time, which most of you do. So you can see a little, there's the aid, then she gives. There's the aid, then she gives. That wasn't quite as good because I made her stand there forever. So Sally, do it one more time and you just do it without me talking. So you see that his neck stays up, stays on diagonal pairs, he's not dropping down on his shoulders. But if you guys pull them back, they're going to open their mouth, they're going to put the neck down, and they're going to lose the diagonal pairs, and that's the essence of the rain back. So, really good at that. He's really good at that. He just has to wait a little bit more for it. Make sense? Yes. For the turn. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Good job. So, good. So, Sally, work a little bit on the shoulder and, um, the turn, and then think a little bit about improving the power of the medians, and then make sure the downwards transitions also stay good. Okay? Okay, good job. 